how to do this, guys. I'm, I'm like from the tech gen. I should know these things. Hello, if you are on Facebook right now, welcome. This hopefully is the right one. I'm just gonna start and Facebook will hopefully join the dots and come over to Instagram. Um, so everyone is letting us know where they are. Someone is in Hervey Bay in Queensland. Um, I'm gonna play us a song and um, yeah, get us going. Anyone from, oh gosh, we should be watching the time. It's eight minutes until um, New Year's Eve, until midnight in London. And I'm pretty sure London are in, um, there we go, that's better. Happy New Year, Facebook, hello. Yay, we got them. So I'm gonna be playing a couple of songs and um, if you're in London right now or if you're in, in the Northern, <laughs> thanks Jonathan. My cousin Jonathan is helping me out with the tech <laughs> um, from Scotland. And we are, yeah, sorry Instagram people, I'm just gonna catch up Facebook really quickly. Um, we're in, I'm in Melbourne Nam and I would um, also love to acknowledge the Bunurong people on whose land that we're singing and hanging out on right now and any First Nations people who are present on the feed right now and um, yeah always was and always will be Aboriginal land. I am going to sing a little song just to get us going, get us started. Uh, this is a this is a new one um, which you'll be hearing in full this year. Um, in 2021. I'm in 2021 now. If you're in the UK and Northern Hem, it will be, um, oh wow, there's some music coming from somewhere. It will be happening in six minutes. All right, here we go. And this song is called Let Me Stay Here and it is about, um, you know, it's about kind of wanting to um, sink in to where where I am and 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 learn more about where I am and uh, just the little things that come with staying in one spot for a long time. I think a lot of us um, have been, you know, moving around a lot in the in the past few years, and I think this lockdown time for you know all of us in Nam and Melbourne and um, Victoria and all the other places in the world has really slowed us all down a lot. So I think it has been a really good opportunity for me to really honor where I am and and learn more about, um, yeah, this place. So it's called Let Me Stay Here.
So I think it's like one minute until New Year's in the UK. Can we get a countdown from anyone over there? How are we going? <laughs> Thanks, beautiful people. It's so lovely to see all of your, yeah, <laughs> all of your comments. Um, yeah. So I'll be doing another one soon. But I think we're about to go over. We're about to bring everyone over into 2021. From 2020. I wonder if I can like Google a countdown or something. Sorry, this is just all happening. This is all just freestyling right now. Hey, Annie Jane. Welcome. Oh, it's 11. Which means it's midnight over there. Hey, the Piper is on. My cousin Jonathan says the Piper is on in Edinburgh Castle. <laughs> Happy Hogmanay. Happy New Year. Mwah, 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 mwah. Welcome to 2021, Northern Ham. Yay. Well, most people in Northern Ham. A lot of people in the Northern Ham. Everyone will be gradually coming over in their time zone. Okay. So I just want to say a huge, big, um, sending so much love to everyone who's had to turn around and change their plans this in this time crazy times hey um yeah i think a lot of people have are on the move and and changing all their plans down here in new south wales and and victoria in australia <laughs> thanks christy have a beautiful have a beautiful night all right let's play these people Let's play some old Lang Syne. What am I doing? Here we go. For old Lang Syne, my... Oh, where am I? <laughs> I just totally marked that up. Here we go. Should old acquaintance be forgot and then...
So much love to all my friends and fam in the UK. <laughs> um, oh, what a, what a time! Happy New Year! So many people are wishing us Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Oh, such a good time. Someone says it's one AM here in Berlin, and this is the perfect end to the night. Ah, oh, Alex, I'm so glad. Thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna sing one more song. I'm just checking the facey comments. Lots of love, so much love, beautiful people. So if anyone has any questions, I think Sophie had a question way back up the top. can't find it now. Hey, Linda and Joel in Albury, Happy New Year. <laughs> I'm from Albury, that's my, that's my hometown. I grew up on the Murray River, Dungala, beautiful place in the world. All right, I think let's do another song. It is five past midnight in London and I hope everyone's feeling good. I'm here in Melbourne and now it's um, New Year's Day. And yeah, it's just sending lots of love to everyone in their, in their strange holiday times this year. Wherever you are, I hope you're finding some good times and some presence and gratitude for all that we have. All right, um, I'm getting some questions about the guitar. This is um, a beautiful classical guitar. It's actually my dad's. I'm at my parents' place at the moment. And it is um, it's a little um, Scottish thistle. So the guy that makes this, his name's Joe Gallagher and he lives in Albury. And my dad asked him to put a little Scottish thistle on the top, which is so beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, lovely guitar. Um, all right, so I would love to play, um, I'm gonna play uh, an old song uh, called Pirouette and <laughs> we're getting some requests. Um, this is a, yeah, an older one. Um, it is definitely about um, just everyone coming together and which I think this time of year, time of year always brings that up, doesn't it? Just this beautiful togetherness of everyone all over the world. Um, uh, someone is here tuning in from Lura in the Blue Mountains, sending lots of love to the Blue Mountains. Got some good friends up there. I have to play my guitar like this so you can see it. Yeah. 
Greta said she was slow dancing in the kitchen to this. Oh, that's such a beautiful vision. Oh, thanks guys, so gorgeous. Thank you so much for your beautiful songs. Someone says, this is, one of, this is one of my favorite songs, beautiful, calm, emotional, thank you. Cousin Jonathan says, best Lisa Mitchell song. Oh, thanks mate. <laughs> um, Jonathan just had a baby, literally 24 hours ago. What the hell, incredible. Um, everyone's saying Happy New Year, Lisa. Thank you so much. Happy New Year, Susan. Um, someone says, I love Pirouette, one of my faves. Thanks, guys. An oldie, old Goldie. Um, my daughter Inka was so emotional. Oh, you just bring so much love into our household. Thank you, little guardian of the earth. That's so beautiful. I'm so happy to hear. Um, so... What now? Um, we'll hang out for maybe like another five, but um, I'm just so excited. Um, you know, I'm feeling just really grateful for, um, yeah, just all of you guys being here and hanging out and um, wishing you, a, you know, easy transition into the new year and, yeah, again, sending so much love to everyone who's traveling down from trying to get back across the border for back into Victoria at this time. And, you know, like my, my drummer, Kishore, he had to cut his um, family time short. It's been pretty full on for all of us down here in Melbourne and Nam this year with a huge lockdown, two lockdowns in stage four. So, you know, London, we totally know what what yeah what you what's happening how it feels and um yeah my drama Kishore just said that he you know had a couple of days with his family and then had to come back so it's not easy is it it's not an easy time just my heart goes out to everyone that you know hasn't been able to spend much time with their family this year and now has you know even less chance to spend time with their families so yeah, I really hope that you can stay connected. And I think, you know, music is such a good good balm for the heart in this time. So I think, you know, I'm so excited to hear all the new music that's going to be coming out and made in during this time, especially in the places that are locked down. Um, yeah, I... What else was I going to say? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um... Yeah, just super excited to share new music with you this year um, in some form, <laughs> who knows, but definitely um, the album will be out this year. We are finishing it in January. I'm producing it with um, Tom Janzek from Big Scary, which I haven't really shared that info yet, which is pretty exciting. So we will be hard at work this January finishing the album. So yeah. Um, BU Psychology and Counseling says, when will your new album be out? I hope to get to do some gigs in 2021. I know. I really hope I get to do some gigs this year as well. Um, it would be so beautiful to actually do some, yeah, actual gigs. Um, I love, I've been having such a beautiful time playing with my band, um, Jesse Warren, that plays bass. And I've known Jesse for like 10 years, even longer. So it's so, so, it's so beautiful to have her in my band. Um, and Kishore Ryan is playing drums. And the three of us are kind of like this triad. And I feel like the new record is very much a collective energy of the three of us. So it just makes sense. I really, you know, it makes sense that we'll play these songs live because it that is kind of where these songs have come from is is playing live we um were ch cheekily sneakily playing under a, um another name doing some little gigs all of you know before lockdown just to get that live kind of um experience and without me kind of feeling the pressure of it being perfect yet so that was a bit cheeky um but we'll definitely be playing, well, if we can, with the restrictions and stuff, we'll be playing gigs this year for sure. 
Um, I'm so, yeah, so happy to be here with you all and thank you so much for tuning in. So many people are hanging out here. It's, it's yeah, really heartwarming and I hope you guys are enjoying hanging out in the comments as well. Um, Greta says, what was your favourite memory of 2020? I had, um, I had a, some really cool times, um, you know, obviously like everyone was doing a lot of things on Zoom. Um, probably my favourite memory was, what did we get to do? I did some pretty cool um, like songwriting collaborations. I, I wrote some songs with Bujara, where we're still kind of writing s songs together. Um, I wrote a song with a South African producer, um, Josh Berry from Honeymoon, um, which was really fun and, you know, kind of really opened up my eyes um, into just how many collaborations that we can be doing in the creative industries online. And I feel like I, yeah, kind of relaxed a bit into just embracing being a bit more, yeah, collaborative online rather than being bummed about it, you know, about not being able to work in the studio. And yeah, so I think that would probably be it. I think I found my favorite thing about 2020 was just, yeah, kind of getting over my like Puritan feeling of of being so disappointed to not be able to do things in person and, and, and realizing how many opportunities we do have online and globally in terms of collaborations in music. So I feel like I wanna do more collaborations online with different producers and writers. It's just, it's inspiring, you know, it's stimulating. Um, yeah, so thanks for that question, Greta. Um, okay, what else is happening here? Um, Hmm. Black bun. Is black bun like black pudding? Someone says, Susan. Susan says, is your family having black bun today? What's black bun? Is it like black pudding or haggis or something? I have to ask my dad. All right. Um, I would love to play you one more song and then I'm going to skedaddle. thing actually I was wanting to say as well is I've been a bit slack but I, I started a, um, a Facebook group called Let Your Body which is the name of one of the songs on the new album and I, um, I've been sharing uh, like I think it's like long term going to be um, a place mainly about Qigong <laughs> which is super random but I got really into Qigong which is uh, an ancient Chinese movement practice during Melbourne and Nam lockdown so yeah it's gonna kind of morph into like a bit of a I guess just like you know mental health tips and it's a but it's a collaborative space so it's very much for you guys as well to be sharing you know inspiring things poems um your favorite like you know emotional um kind of uh what's the word Mm, like processing ideas and oh I think we've maybe lost Instagram a little bit but anyway it's called let your body on Facebook and um, check it out come and join us I'm going to be posting a lot in there this year and as I um yeah as I get uh yeah more um I suppose uh confident with teaching Qigong yeah so this is a this is another new song. Um, mm, I don't want to be a bummer though, it's a bit of a sad one. What else have I got? What's not such a sad one? All right, I'll do a bit of a song called Tiny Treasures. I won't sing maybe the whole thing. I will see how we go. <laughs> what it's about. <laughs> um, 
my good friend Grace, um, who's also a singer, R.W. Grace, she messaged me a couple of years ago on my birthday and said, happy birthday, Lise. Um, I wish you the tiniest, I think I wish you, um, yeah, the tiniest of treasures, um, you know, have a beautiful day. And I was like, oh, that's like, you know, you don't hear that every day. Uh, uh, but I was like, that's cute. Like, I like that tiny treasures, you know, for my birthday. Cool. That's, that's cute. And then she wrote back straight away being like, oh, no. Um, I wrote back being like, oh, no, I, um, I meant to write truest of treasures. I'm so sorry, you know. But I was like, no, I actually like the tiny treasures thing. It's nice. So then I just started collecting um, in my mind over the next few months just little things that are free, that are that you kind of make your day kind of, um, type things. So then this song happened. <laughs> so it's spell check and Grace's fault. <laughs>
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful mm. rest of your evening if you're in the Northern Hemisphere or rest of your first day of 2021 if you are in um, Southern Hemisphere. Happy New Year. Mm.